So in the last video, you got to know about HTML. In this video, we'll learn how to add CSS that is styled to your page. Let's create an HTML page first. So let's open up Sublime Text. Uh, that's your code editor. And click on File, New File. And just hit Control S or Command S on your Mac. And I'm just going to go to my projects. And oh yeah, I'm just going to create a folder called Basic01. And the file name will be index.html. All right. So let's just simply add some basic uh, HTML to your page now. type HTML okay uh, we can even write this in capital is doesn't matter all right the next tag is HTML tag uh, so what I did was I just typed HTML and I hit tab on my keyboard so sublime text automatically adds that for you you can also do that all right so we have an head and we have one body I'm just going to give it a head as uh, HTML CSS start all right and inside this body I'm going to add few HTML tags starting with header so don't get confused with header and head uh, head is a different HTML tag and header is kind of a div it's a block level element Okay, inside header, I'm just going to add, this is our header. And below header, I'm going to add an heading tag that is going to be an H1. And below H1 tag, I'm going to add main div. So this is main HTML tag, which is also a part of div family. We'll learn more about div families in the future videos. Inside main, I'm just going to add a paragraph tag. Below main tag, I'm going to add footer. We have our basic HTML layout ready. Let's try to view this in a browser now. This is how it's currently looking like. And uh, it's not looking very good uh, at the moment. Uh, so let's try to add CSS. To add CSS or the style to your page, there are three different ways. Either you can add an inline style like this and we can just say background color hash fi 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 and you can add still further more styling uh, maybe i can say um, adding of 50 pixels all right let's see how it looks and you can see uh, the style effect has been added but this is one of the bad ways of adding styling uh, there is another way of adding a style using the style tag inside the head so add a style tag and add body tag so we are selecting the body tag which is the body HTML tag and I'm just going to add a background color of background hyphen color uh, and I'm just going to type the same color white smoke like fi f5 f5 and let's view it again okay it works so let's go ahead and add the best way of adding the style. The third way is the best way. Uh, you should always create a new style, style sheet. So let's create a new file and I'm going to name this file as uh, um, style.css. Hit command S or control S on your keyboard. And I'm just going to name this as style.css and hit save. So since index.html and style they are both in the same folder so you can link them properly 
and easily. So we have to use an HTML tag called link and give it a relation attribute and add the value as style sheet. You don't have to add this, it's uh, optional, but if your text editor adds it, let it be. Okay, just select the file. This is on the same folder and type the name of the file that is style.css. Let's just add a dummy style just for now. So I'm just going to add background color of red just to see if our styles are loaded or not. All right, it works. So let's add a proper styling to our layout now. So I'm just going to select the white smoke for the background color. Inside your style.css, I'm going to add style for header tag now. Type opening and closing curly braces and inside that I'm going to add a width of 960 pixels okay and I'm just going to select a background color uh, to our header now so let's just choose this color so let's view it how it looks now all right, so as you can see, the header is uh, looking like this and uh, also add some styling to our H1 tag now. So I'm just going to select the H1 tag, add a font size of, let's say, mm, 24 pixels, All right? And uh, below that, we have our main tag, select that, and I'm going to add the same width as header that is 960 pixels and it will have a different background color uh, let's also add style for our footer I'm just going to just copy paste this and just choose a different uh, background color for our footer. All right, let's wait in the browser. Okay, this is how our basic layout looks like, but I'm going to add few more styling to this. So the header gets an height of uh, 100 pixels and uh, main gets some height of um, let's say 500 pixels and footer also gets a height of 50 pixels all right let's see how it looks okay uh, I want this layout to be in the center of my browser. The simplest and easiest technique is just add margin auto. All right, let's see how it looks. So I've just added margin auto to header. All right, it is in the center now. But I need to add this margin auto to each and every tag. Also, we can see that width and background color are being repeated. Except uh, even though they are repeated, the values are different. But width, this width property is being repeated multiple times. So what we can do is, we can combine the stylings. So we can combine header, main and footer. And let's just simply give this width, remove it from here and put it here. Also, I'm just going to remove the width property from all the tags since we have combined it at the top over here. Also add the margin auto so we don't have to type it again and again to all the tags. All right, let's see how it looks.
and the style has been applied okay the h1 is remaining what i can do is for now let's just put this h1 tag inside our main tag so i've just moved it inside and uh, that's it uh, it's looking good it's not great but uh, this is how you add basic styling to your web page